Hello, and welcome to Ellen Ruth Soap. I'm Ellen, and today I'm gonna to be making a Valentine's inspired soap using some little embeds that I made. Um, these are cold process hearts, and inside the hearts I put some poppy seeds because I wanted these to look like strawberries. It's gonna be a combination heart strawberry when I get done um, because of the theme of this soap using this fragrance, it's called Sugared Strawberry from Nurture Soap, and it smells really good. It's like sugared strawberries. I, I'm delighted to use this. I haven't used this fragrance before. It got really good reviews. Uh, it says it doesn't cause acceleration or discoloration, so I'm really counting on that. Uh, today is gonna be a coconut milk soap. Also, I'll be using this coconut milk that I got on Amazon. It's guar gum free. It doesn't have any additives in there, so it soaps really wonderfully. It's very thick and creamy, and I think it performs great in soap and makes the lather really nice. I love coconut milk soap. Let me tell you about the colors first. I am going to be using, I got this tiny little jar of Queen of Hearts from Nurture Soap, and it is a beautiful um, pinkish red, and I thought that would be just beautiful with the theme that I have going on. And I will do a wisp of green swirl in there, lily pad green from Wholesale Supplies Plus. I thought that was pretty. And then I'm also gonna take out my piping bag and do um, some leaves. So when I get done pouring the soap and swirling it, I'm gonna set the hearts on top and sort of half submerge them. This is what I'm hoping I can do. And then I would like to take my tiny little uh, leaf tip and pipe some leaves on the hearts, turning them into strawberries to go with the sugared strawberry theme. All right, so that's the plan for the soap, the vision I have in my head. Let's see if we can make this uh, translate into bars of soap. I'm excited to use these little embeds and um, get everything pulled together. I'm gonna get my lye solution going. I will be doing the coconut milk in the oil today, so I will discount for the portion of coconut milk on um, my lye solution. Uh, and that is what we've got going on. Pardon the uh, post-workout look today. It was really chilly this morning, but I got a nice long walk in with my puppy, and uh, so I love cool air. <laughs> Not that that has to do with Valentine's Day, but anyway, just, you know, pardon the baseball cap. <laughs> Let's get to soaping. All right, I'm getting all my prep work done while my lye solution is cooling. And what I have going on in my oils and butters here is colloidal oats, kale and clay, and the fragrance. That's already in here. And I'm going to add my wonderful coconut milk into the oils right now and get it blended in. And uh, as soon as that lye solution is ready to go, we are going to move forward and get the soap in the mold and hopefully make those little hearts look like strawberries. All right, we're ready to get going here. I've got my lye solution, which has does have cane sugar, tussa silk fibers, and sodium lactate in there. And of course, this my oils already have all the good stuff. So I'm gonna just hand stir this to emulsion and then we'll stick blend as needed when we get it split off into the colors. And depending on how this fragrant oil is behaving, I would like to do a different kind of pour on it, but i um, just gonna hold back on my reservations here and see, see how it's behaving. If everything is just working great and it's not moving too fast, I have another pitcher off to the side here that I might do a pour down into it um, and do a different kind of pour. So just gonna see how this is going. Looks like it's doing great so far. Just going for emulsion here and we'll get split off for our colors that I already have dispersed in a little bit of water in my pitchers. So go ahead and get this split.
<laughs> well, that was a mess, wasn't it? Oh, my word. It was uh, went from being very reasonable to unreasonable in like zero to 30. Anyway, I am going to cut into this. <laughs> Let's see what we've got on the inside. Super duper hot mess. Um, this went so fast and a little bit of glitter. I tried to pretty it up, but man, this is rough. So I'm going to get in here in the middle and see what we've got. And uh, we'll deal with it from that point on if I need to. Oh my, it's just so depressing when you've got this great soap plan and then it just goes crazy like that. But I just want to say lesson learned for me. This was a new fragrance I had never used before and I had no business putting it in the oils like I did um, with fragrances that I'm familiar with. I can do that. This one I was not familiar with and it came back to bite me big time. So please learn from my lessons. I'm going to have a lot of air pockets and stuff. Um, I never should have put it in the oils. I should have kept it out and added it to each color. I don't know if it would have helped or not, but it would have given me a little bit of a head start. Oh my word. Let's get this split. Well, it's not too many air pockets in there. Let's get in the middle of these and see <laughs> what we've got. Oh my word. This was just a nightmare for me, seriously. I think the strawberries are kind of cute, but oh my word, what a hassle. And the tops are, oh, I don't know, not happy at all. But I think the little strawberry hearts are cute. Oh my word. Let's keep going and see. <laughs> I'm going to have some repair work to do too on holes and things. And I'll show you how I take care of that when I get there. So, they smell really good, so that's something positive. I sure wish that it hadn't speeded up though. I'm surprised though, I don't have as many air pockets as I thought. I'm gonna have to revisit the little strawberry idea because I think it looks cute. It's got a lot of potential, but um, yikes. Let's keep going. I'm going to show you how I handle air pockets and uh, any sort of little, you know, hole in your soap. So what I do is these are fresh. I made these yesterday. It's been about 24 hours. So these are real fresh. The soap's going to be a little bit pliable. So I'm going to bevel the edges here. And this is just a KitchenAid vegetable peeler. Get those. I already did my sample pieces here. That's what those little shavings are from. So... I got all my shavings so I can sort of color match. And okay, there it's got the red and the white. So I'm going to come on in here and find something that has red and white in it. And it's a little bit like soap dough. So I just take a shaving and I'm going to make it pliable here and make like a little bullet, if you will, to kind of stick down in the hole and mash it in there and pull it off. And just do that as many times as it takes to get it in. And then the hole is fixed. And it'll cure out, you know, the color will cure out just fine. Uh, let's see. Okay, there's one at the bottom. Same color scheme. So I'm just going to take that little soap dough there and mash it in. And so the nice thing with this is uh, I think aesthetically it looks better. And it saves these bars. I mean, I would probably have to rebatch these if I couldn't repair all the holes in there. But now 
I think I can come along and repair the holes and <laughs> as much as the hassle as these were, they smell great. I do think they look cute. So these soaps are very salvageable. Salvageable, did I say that right? Anyway, I can salvage these soaps is what I'm saying. And they are adorable and they smell great. It's a nice big bar. So these will be wonderful soaps when I go through and just patch up any of those little air pockets. And uh, yep, this was a bit of a nightmare, but I think the finished bars are cute. So now when I'm done with that, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp like I normally do. 